This is your Financial Minute with Jim Spiro. I think basically what they said is that interest rates are going to be on hold, and uh, they have uh, kind of telegraphed their hand, and I think they're going to be on hold for a protracted period of time into a good bit of 2020. And I think they're going to err on the side of letting the economy run a little too hot and perhaps inflation getting a little more robust before they think of raising them. So I think that's a pretty good synopsis of what they came up with. Well, you know, I'm not sure it means a great deal. Number one, people need to realize, especially with respect to the Fed, by the time you hear what they're doing or read what they're doing, the market has already anticipated that. And number two, if you want to react to things like what the Fed says or does or intimates, you're engaging in sort of a, a fancy form of market timing, of trying to know when to get in and when to get out. And realize when you do that, there's, there's generally two decisions. Not only when to get out, but then you have to answer yourself, when do I get back in? And that can cause tax effects. It can cause costs, it can cause structural complexities, and it can disturb your portfolio. So I think looking at what the Fed does and what the Fed says should be a, a part of a larger uh, a sort of program of portfolio management, but I wouldn't spend a great deal of time on the utterances of seven people on the Federal Open Market Committee and try to adjust your portfolio up or down or sideways. I think I would incorporate it into my larger game plan. 